Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. We're continuing our playthrough of the NES classic, Crystallis, and we return you to the next episode, currently in progress. Awesomeness awaits. And we're back for the next little segment of Crystallis. We woke up in the cave. We got some free money. We got a free sword. We did a little shopping. We took a quick look around the small town of Leaf. Uh, keep in mind, this this, this was actually pretty, uh, pretty intense for the time. When the game came out in 1990, this game was praised for its quality music and high-end graphics. Because it made the most of what was available for the classic Nintendo. So let me get that charged. You can walk around with that. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of exploring in a cave in a minute. And unfortunately, we're going to need to do a little bit of grinding. Oop. Are you slime? There we go. So they're worth about one XP a piece and they're worth about one dollar a piece. Kind of something to keep in mind and we got these guys uh, I didn't all right, he's worth more money but I forgot to check and see how much XP he's worth all right so let's we're now at 5 XP of 30 and let's go find you'll do okay so they're still only worth 1 XP but they're worth more money uh, it's going to be good because we are going to want a shield at some point. Um, this go round, I am going to do more grinding on camera than I really try to do. Because, well, I, I, I can't avoid it. Hi, guys. All right, so we've got this cave here. What's in this cave here? <laughs> oh man, all right. All right, that cave takes us to the windmill. Where there is a key. Oh, there's the hole for a key. If you look really closely. Or it looks like a keyhole. I'm not entirely sure if it is. And that's about it. So this is the windmill that is not working. That has the weird word cave with the dangerous noises in the back. Let's, uh, oh, almost forgot. Always uh, keep a charge. Hopefully we can get a level before we get too much further. What else we got? Oh! We've got... Now, if you're a veteran to the classic NES style games, that very conspicuously looking different chunk of graphics is clearly a secret door. So there's a cave in there. What else we got around the edge here? There, there's the, that's the, actually the cave I was looking for. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Hmm. What do we have down this way? I am called Zebu, Anon Jr. You are the one we have been waiting for. Try to make the windmill work. If you can do this, I will teach you some magic. Well, okay. And again, if you're a veteran of the day, you'll know that that uh, bit of different texture is something that will get broken down eventually. Uh, unfortunately, due to the limitations of the game, they, they had to have different textures for a lot of this stuff. And they also wanted to give you clues. So we'll get into what that's all about later. 
First things first, we need to get the windmill working again. That's all that, that's all he said was get the windmill work again and he'll teach us some magic. Alright, let's go back to the windmill again and see if there's something we can do there. Nope, not there. Around this corner. Come on, man. There we go. I'm probably not going to get the money for it, am I? Nope. Alright. Every dollar counts. We're still early game. Oh, hey, there's somebody there now. And he's sleeping. He really does look like an extra from Dragon Ball Z, doesn't he? Was Dragon Ball Z even a thing in 1990? I think I need to look that one up. Because I'm not entirely sure. Come on. Alright. So, obviously we need to find the key. And I'm pretty sure we gotta do something about waking up the hit, the sleeping guy that suddenly appeared in the cave. So, let's go... Let's go grind some XP. Earn some cash. Because, uh, first things first, we need a shield. Right now, we don't have anybody that does a ranged attack, though. So maybe, maybe we can get by without it. All right. Let's see what we can do without it first. But we definitely need to get our attack up a little bit more. Three more guys, and that will be, uh, that'll be the XP that we need. Oh, come on. Three more. Oh. Seriously. Two more? One more. Who's my Huckleberry? There you are. Uh, by the way, I don't know if you noticed, just walking around replenishes the bad guys. There we go, your level is increased. Da -da 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 -da. Um, <clears throat> that is an important thing to remember when you're exploring the caves and dungeons and things. Dungeons are never cleared. Where you're standing is cleared. But if you go forward past where somebody would spawn and then back again guess what you're gonna find some guys again you can very easily get yourself into some exceptionally overwhelming situations uh, just by walking back and forth between two frames where enemies would spawn so uh, keep keep that little fun fact in mind do you wish to buy yes all right, so we got some medical herbs that restore hit points for 30 bucks a pop. Manage your money. We got some antidote that will cure poisoning for 40 bucks a pop. That'll that'll actually become important a little bit later. We got some warp boots that will let you go back to a village that you've previously visited for 60 bucks. Not worth it right now because well, we We've only been to one village. And we've got an alarm flute. Hmm, I wonder what that could be good for. And that's for 50 bucks, which we don't have enough money for. So let's go get our 50 bucks and get an alarm flute. All right, we got 42 now. 43. 44. We need the tigers. The tigers are worth... Uh, Two bucks a pop, if I remember right. Yep, there we go. 46, 48. Come on. Oh. Now, I remember spending much too much time walking around in circles trying to get those guys in uh, in line, basically using their, their rudimentary pathfinding AI to try to get them to walk around in circles enough that I could get a stack of them in one spot and rack up the money. 
because you can go through a lot of money. You can go through a lot, a lot of money. Inns cost money too. Don't forget that. Yep, 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 yep. Windy, the Windy City. Hello, Chicago. All right, let us get an alarm flute. You purchased an alarm flute. Anything else? Nope. Okay. I'm not going to equip the alarm flute yet because I have a bad habit of hitting the wrong button and I don't want to waste my alarm flute. What we need to do is we need to go back to the cave. Oh. Hello, money. Especially now that we're back down to, what, 10, 12 bucks? Alright. Oh, no. You're not the... Oh, you are the cave I'm looking for. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's go back up through the cave. Alright, and we're going to go in here, we're going to go to our items, we're going to equip our alarm flute, and if you look at the status page, it doesn't show you anything, but the A button will use the item that you have equipped. Wait, what do you mean nothing happens? There we go. You gotta be facing him. Huh? What was that? Don't do that again! It's you. Please don't tell Zebu. Take this to start the windmill. Zebu says a strange ball is hidden in these caves. He says it can break rock walls. You now have the windmill key. All right. That's one of the items that's going to take up your inventory slots. <laughs> Whether you want it to or not. It will now take up your inventory slot. Oh, that's right. Because I have it equipped, it's going to, uh, the windmill begins to work. Oh, that, never mind. It gets used. <gasps> Who would have guessed that funny looking texture is now a cave? <laughs> Sorry. I know. Hello, Beach Duck. Do you remember this game? Kind of goes back a little ways, doesn't it? To the NES. Of course, if I really wanted to get to the games that you played a lot on the NES, I'd just load up some Tetris and, uh... <laughs> oh, this goes back a little ways. Is he going to teach us something now? Teach me, Master. <laughs> you have done well. I will now teach you the magic of refresh. No, that's not when you press F5. It, it, it's a healing magic. <laughs> you now have refresh. How refreshing. Uh, yes, as you can tell by the one row labeled magic, you get a whole eight spells before this is all said and done. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I asked played this one or not. I know I played it a few times. So I'm trying to remember which, if any, classic Nintendo games Ray asked was more fond of playing. I, I think hers were more in the Super Nintendo side of things on. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Mr. Beach Duck definitely played a lot of the classic Nintendo stuff too. <laughs> I, I, I wish I could remember the name of the game. It was that, it was a sailing game where you had to like actually measure out and, and, and figure out your your water and food provisions and plot an actual course 
and, and uh oh, that doesn't look good. Is he worth more XP? From 29 to 31. Okay, these guys are worth 2 XP. That's good. Uh, what was that one, though? Why am I drawing a blank? Mm -mm. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I don't think it's these guys. But I know that based on the fact that we've got um, an antidote, somebody will eventually poison us. And I'd rather not touch anybody and find out the hard way. I think I just lost that money because it went off screen. That is one of the dan- yep, yeah, that is one of the dangers. Oh, and he respawned because again, it went off screen. Like I said uh, at the top, nothing is nothing is permanently cleared. Oh, these guys, red critters, are poisonous. No touchy. Uh, unless you like dying. Oh, a rock wall. Huh. Somebody said something about an item that could help you break down rock walls. Oh. By the by, I should also add, one of the ways this game keeps you from progressing too far past where you should be, uh, it does a... a uh, you must be this level to attack these people. Uh, basically, your attack has to... Uh, excellent! Your level is increased. Your uh, your attack has to be high enough to actually damage them. So if you are not of a high enough level, all you're going to hear is the most annoying little ding. And uh, that's, that's it. That's all you're going to get. That little ding. Uh, oh. Oh, wrong button, wrong button. There we go. Momentary distraction. Uno momentito. All right. I want to go this way. Oh. There we go. You now have warp boots. Good. Remember, warp boots can let you uh, teleport back to a village you have visited. I demurred from buying them because, well, I'd only visited one village. Uh, forgetting that uh, if you get poisoned and you have no antidote, warping back to town is the best way of getting to where you need to be. By the by, it's been a little while. I sh Oh, that's right. You can't save here. You can only save in towns. So let's go ahead and go save state. There we go. <laughs> Just in case. All right. I want to go north and south and south and north. All right. Keep hitting the wrong A. I, I'm telling you, the 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 old reflexes are are hitting, and I keep wanting to hit where. Oh, oh, that hurt. Oh, that that hurt. That hurt. Oh, there we go. One hit point per magic point. I think is the ratio. I'm like sixty percent sure. Don't 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 quote me on that. You now have a medical herb. Ooh, that could be useful too. I'd like an antidote even more though, please. Um. Ow! Oh, stupid bats. Uh, no, that was somebody microwaving, and... Ah! 
And it got picked up on Mike. Stupid bats. You now have a ball of wind. I forgot how annoying those bats were. So, here's the deal. For each sword you get, there is a ball and a bracelet. The ball lets you charge up to a level 2. Level 2 will let you break a particular elemental wall. So a level 2 charge of wind. Are you kidding me? Oh, arr, I hate you bats. Oh, a level 2... Crikey. Oh, <laughs> duh. You, you know what would be helpful against projectiles? A shield. Alright, I'm going to beat feet because I'm running low adjacent on magic. Ooh. And, uh, uh, there we go. Oh, I did that all the time then too. I still do it now where I, I try to do a quick turn to the enemy and release the ball of wind in the wrong direction. All right. Yeah. I'm low adjacent on magic points. I have people shooting projectiles at me, and it would be really good to have a shield. Since... Oh, maybe, maybe I'll need to take a short break in a minute, too. Because if I'm having this much trouble dodging people that I effortlessly managed to make my way through earlier... Oh, yeah. And hitboxes were all sorts of fun then, too. Uh, they were a little more literally boxes, for one thing. Aha. Uh -huh. Merciless. Merciless. Yeah, the hitboxes were a little funny then, too. You'll notice the moving animations were uh, definitely of their time. Th this was advanced graphics. I. That's right. We're now at the level. These guys are easy pickings. We've got 122 bucks. And we'll have more by the time we get to town. So we got a couple of options. We can go to the inn and refresh everything at once. Or we can go buy herbs and antidotes and um, and top off our magic that way. I'm going to go the in route because ultimately it's cheaper. This is 16 bucks. How do you feel? Please come again. I feel like I'm 16 bucks lighter. Would you like to buy something? Yes. I would like to buy a shield. Nope. Because I already have everything else. The nice thing is, is the game designers were kind enough to not let you buy armor you already had. So I wouldn't be able to buy two tanned hides. Because I already had one. Now if I sold it, I would be able to buy it again. Alright, let me go ahead and equip that. Alright, so we got a medical herb and some warp boots. We probably ought to go over here. And let's buy... Nothing, because we're broke. <laughs> All right, and this is where a little grindy, grindy, grindy comes in handy because uh, first, would you like to save this game? I would love to save this game. There we go. Uh, one herb and some warp boots does not make for safe caving uh, or safe dungeoneering. I would really like to have a couple of antidotes and a couple of herbs just in case something goes horribly, horribly awry. So let me take a little break. I hear the coffee brewing and, uh, and then we'll, we'll pick this back up in just a little minute. Well, that was fun. Unless I died, then it was a little less fun. I hope you enjoyed the series so far. The next episode should roll out tomorrow, unless tomorrow's a live stream day. 
The current schedule is over on my Twitch profile. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, do follow in Twitch. That way you'll get notified when I go live, allowing you to chat along as we record the next six episodes. Or chat along with whatever else I got going on. I do a variety of things, just like here. Speaking of here, if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Click the bell and you'll no get notified of all the new content produced from future Games Revisited episodes to Coffee Craft Livestream Archives, instrument repair, upgrades, and construction, and uh, anything else that strikes my fancy. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, quips, queries, quandaries, quotes, complaints, comments, or quibbles, just uh, leave those in the comments below. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.